السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم His household, his companions We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them To bless every one of us to grant us goodness in this dunya as well as the next Ameen does black magic exist? That's a question. Does it really exist? Subhanallah, I hear some females say yes. Did you hear that? Do the jinn really exist? That's a question. Oh, I hear everyone say yes. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So, People say, I don't believe in that. You know, this magic, I don't believe that, I don't believe in magic. It's not like we believe in magic, like to do the magic, but we have to believe that it exists. This is something we need to clarify right at the beginning. Witchcraft, we don't believe in doing it, but we believe it can be done and we believe it does exist because Allah speaks about it in the Quran. It's known as sihr in the Arabic language and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the evil people are the ones who engage in this type of magic black magic and different types of magic and it does have an effect on people yes it does and we have spoken about it or it is spoken about in the Sharia from two different angles the one who does it and the one whom it is done upon as for the one who does it, he takes himself or she takes herself out of the fold of Islam, straight. There is no doubt. We will get to that in a moment. And as for the one whom it is done upon, it is indeed an infliction. It is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at the same time, it is a test to see what you do about it now that you've been affected by it. It's a test to see what you are going to do about it now that you are affected by it. Quite simple. So sometimes innocent people who are affected by this type of black magic, for example, they resort to that which is worse in the quest of being cured. They want to be cured. They are running after the cure and in the process, they fall into a trap. What is that trap? We want to speak about it today. But to begin with, we definitely believe that the jinn exists. There is a whole world of the unseen that we cannot deny. Nobody can deny the world of the unseen. The angels, do you see them? The answer is no. The jinn, do you see them? The answer is no. There are so many things around us, perhaps, in this atmosphere that we have right now, that we don't see. That's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't think for a moment that we are the only creatures in existence, or that which we see with our eyes is the only, are the only things in existence. In fact, Allah has created creation after creation some we may never know about you take a look at the marine life that which is in the oceans and in the water how many different kinds of fish are they there are people discovering different species as we speak and they will continue discovering up to the end of time that's Allah's plan Sometimes, and when I've seen some of the National Geographic programs regarding the nature and regarding the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am baffled. Allah created this type of a creature. There is a fish that looks just like a stone, exactly the same. And suddenly it moves. And there are so many different types of creatures in the water alone. It's so amazing. And then you take a look at the universe around us and the planets and the stars and how far they are the closest star four and a half light years away subhanallah the first time i was educated about this i was actually told something mind-boggling that at night when you see a star outside and you look at it it was there four and a half years ago it 
it's not necessary that it's there right now why are you looking at it because for the light to have traveled to you where you are right now on earth the minimum time is four and a half years some of them are thousands some of them are millions some of them are billions of light years away Allahu Akbar. look how slow man is so there is definitely a life of the unseen when there is anything to do with the unseen where do we take cue from that's a question where do i learn from can i just believe anyone and everyone on the street when they tell me there's a jinn just move aside Allahu Akbar. 